What's up everybody, True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the Navarrete versus Valdez ESPN preview as Emmanuel Navarrete, the reigning WBO, well the newly crowned WBO super featherweight champion is about to make his initial and first defense against former two division world champion Oscar Valdez as they headline the August 12th ESPN card. Now, before we get into that, if you guys could smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I try to build my channel up here. So if you like what I'm doing, please do that. If not, you can give me a thumbs down or leave a comment. I'm open to all. Just let me know. Now back to the card. The undercard kicks off with Ricardo Torres Jr. as he takes on Willie Jake Jr. Um, in a heavyweight battle, a six round heavyweight battle. Ricardo Torres, I believe, was an Olympic silver medalist. And he's on his rise, trying to stay undefeated. So heavyweight action's never too bad. That'll, that'll kick off the main card. Then the co-feature is gonna see undefeated lightweight sensation, Raymond Muratala. Fresh off his biggest victory when he dominated Jeremiah Nakatila, stopping him in only two rounds. Impressively on the Haney Lomachenko undercard. He's taking on the hard-hitting Mexican Diego Torres. Diego Torres is 17-0 with 16 knockouts. Now, the dude hasn't fought anybody, so let, let me throw that out, that out there, but his knockout ratio is insane, and Muratala is a guy that likes to mix it up and bang, too. So, this should be a pretty exciting bout as long as it lasts. I'm keeping the momentum in Muratala's lane. I think he will stop this uh, Diego Torres, because I did look at Diego Torres' resume. It's not an impressive one. He hasn't fought anybody, really. So I'm picking Raymond Muratala to stay undefeated on his push in, uh, more up the top 10. And now the main event. You want to talk about a fight that has the, the potential to be the next great Mexican rivalry and war. It's Emmanuel Navarrete against Oscar Valdez here for the 130-pound championship. Navarrete, this is his third division that he's been a champion in. Um, he just moved up in February. He was supposed to fight Valdez for the vacant title in February, but Valdez had to pull out with an injury, so he took on uh, uh, then undefeated Liam Wilson of, the, of uh, Australia, and he struggled. He got hurt early, but he was able to weather the storm and break down uh, Liam Wilson and stop him in the ninth round to capture a championship in his third weight class now. But now he's taking on the former two division champ, Oscar Valdez. Valdez was a, he had, had held on to the featherweight title for years and he's uh, won, he won the WBC title back in 2021 here at 130 pounds when he knocked out previous number one, Miguel Rachel. Since then, he had a, win, a controversial win over Kinsai Chow, then he lost in a unification bout to Shakur Stevenson, suffering the first loss of his career. And then um, he bounced back uh, with a win over Adam Lopez earlier this year on the Haney Lomachenko card. So, you know, this should be a very, very good competitive bout. I really do believe it's close to a 50-50 fight. Um, I'm picking Imanu Navarrete to win this fight. I either think it's going to end in the later rounds or it's going to, I think, more likely a decision victory for Navarrete. But I do think it's going to be close and I do think it's going to be good. And I really can't wait to see what happens as these two guys um, collide on, on August 12th here this Saturday for the WBO Super Featherweight title. So please do not miss out on this card. You really don't want to tune out of ESPN because... Navarrete Valdez is going to be a banger. Muratala and Torres should be solid. That should be a pretty good co-feature to set it up. And then Ricardo Torres Jr., undefeated heavyweight on the rise, um, is hoping to keep his, his uh, undefeated record intact and keep moving up the ladder. So we'll see what happens. Again, Saturday, August 12th, that's the Navarrete versus Valdez ESPN preview. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been here with the truth.